tighten down the nuts here. All right, load the tool and see what we get from there. Okay, the tool's loaded and I have vaguely marked where the adapter is going to fit, so that's something to move in for manually. Well, somewhat manually. No cranks on this guy. Just got to get her close. Right, we'll call that zero, zero. Zero, zero. All right. Getting the profile started. I put the uh, bag of bolt or the can of bolts there to stop the vibrations down a little bit. It's only 3 8 material, so it's going good. Chugging along. I had to move my uh, Y or X rather offset a little bit because otherwise it ran into my clamps and everything. Plus, I want to keep it full. So, just chooching. We'll see if she clears this clamp. I'll be back soon. Okay, so the profile cut, so. Now I gotta do is just put the bow holes in for the Cummins before I cut everything out, because otherwise I'll lose my location. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Just finish up the last of the holes here. Chamfered, and we'll uh, move on to uh, move on to the next uh, operation, which would be machining the rest of the outline. Very nice. Yeah, you know, I had a thought, just in case something goes horribly wrong, I'm gonna make myself a little. Uh, construction hole somewhere I can sweep this edge and then call that zero zero and I know that's eight inches from my zero zero that way in case anything has, I have to go back and machine it I'll be perfect that way because I'll, I'll drill and ream that that way I'll be a perfect location just it's a good thing to leave your back door open in case some bullshit happens it's always just a good thing to hope for the best plan for the worst Alright. Okay. Let's get back to contouring. Okay, hey, now we're back in the shop. We're gonna see if uh, our adapter plate here fits. Oh. oh, you know what? I forgot about these. These locators. They're basically like dowels, but they have a bolt hole through them too as well. So. I'm going to put this camera down and see if everything lines up. Okay, we got everything mounted up somewhat. Looks like we got enough uh, relief for the rear cr uh, crank seal and everything. A little bit much on top. It's a little sloppy. I guess it was just kind of eyeballing other adapters and kind of profiled my own. So everything fits. I just got to relief that little, uh, that dumb little... Uh, locator pin but besides that oh here it is I'm sorry look weird to the viewfinder relief that and everything will sit nice and flush and then from there I can build off and make whatever offset I have to have on the flywheel to fit on the ZF as well as making figure out where my offset from the center of the crank to the starter will be and I'm gonna use the Dodge common starter instead of using that 6-0 that everybody else uses so 
Might have to grind this little part of the block off, but we'll get her in there. Should be good. So, thanks guys. Uh, kind of a shout out to a Johnson's G Rage or Johnson's Johnson's Garage for inspiring me to start making a part by part on my uh, Cummins to Ford swap. So, thank you guys. Uh, please subscribe, like the video up. Take care.